Welcome back to another episode of Rock Dog. All right, guys, quick interruption. Shout out to one of our sponsors, Prize Picks. As you guys know, I like to sweat. I like to gamble. I'm not telling you guys you need to gamble. If you do gamble, please gamble responsibly. But everybody who uses promo code BRAD on Prize Picks, you guys get basically they match your deposit. So if you put in 100 bucks, they give you 100 bucks. Um, is it up to 100 bucks? Okay, it's up to 100 bucks. So up to 100 bucks, if you put $100 in, they're going to give you $100 back. Now, I think if it's $100 and one, you're probably still only getting $100 when they match you on that deposit. But use promo code BRAD when you sign up. Download Prize Picks today. And basically, like, check this out. I just genuinely have more fun watching, like, the fights. Even if it's, like, I'm just, like, friendly betting with my buddies. Um, obviously, guys, you can lose money. You can win money. Again, please do it responsibly. Um, I do it sometimes irresponsibly. And it's because I like the sweat. But again, this is very, very important. If you guys are going to do surprise picks, make sure that you understand that you play with the money you're willing to lose. Okay, very important. Don't play with money if you're not okay with losing it. Like I've said before, it's like, yo, you want to go to Disneyland, spend $400 on a ticket to go to Disneyland. You spend that $400, you know you're coming to Disneyland. You're playing, you're playing the games, you're riding the rides, but you're losing that money. So the same thing with gambling, okay? But if you guys want to do it, please do it responsibly. Go to Prize Picks. Use promo code Brad. Download it today. The link will be in the description in the bio. Um, yeah, let's get back into this podcast. It's good. What's yeah. up, brother? What's up? Yeah. How are you? It's my girlfriend Delia. Hi, Brad. Nice to meet you. Hey, you doing, Dad? All right, it's fucking Delia, dude. Wow. How many years has it been? Three. Three. Good to see you. Good to see you too. You kind of thick. You look kind of thick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm huge, bro. Okay, you know, we, we can do it. Dude, this is a. Uh, bro, I couldn't be. Oh, fuck, I should have said I'm a pop. I couldn't be better on the. I'm sober now. <laughs> this is the behind us. So complete. Yeah, we yeah, gotta talk no. about this. Yeah, this yeah, is good. Of course, of course, of course. Let's jump on this. Shit, man. All right, so. <laughs> this is one of the. This, honestly, when, when I started doing the podcast again, people were like, you gotta get Vitaly really? on. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Because uh, obviously you're one of the OG YouTubers. Yeah. Um, been through a fuck ton. Yeah. Uh, seen it all. <laughs> done it all. Um, what are you, where are you at in your life right now? Where I'm at in Straight my up, life. Straight up, yeah. I'm Let's healthy. I'm happy. I'm sober. I yeah. got a beautiful girlfriend. I'm living in Miami. And I'm just, uh, I just released my apology video. And after the apology video, I just started killing the content. Yeah. What, what was the apology of over mainly? What oh, happened? The incident that happened yeah. two years ago. So what exactly happened? What a jump right I into love it. it. Just fuck it. We I have love to. it. I love it. Bro, a lot of people think I'm capping, but I saw in Roman Atwood's uh, comments, 60 grams of shrooms. You can't consume that. Yeah, I can. Okay. Let me say, let me say this. Let me say this. <laughs> I've you. been with Vitaly, with Dan Blazeri. We were in Thailand. We took shrooms. And we took a lot. And I took a very small amount of shrooms. And this motherfucker really took a fuck ton of shrooms a bag, like a full bag of like all the shrooms yeah, yeah. i was shocked no to me i was like yo i would be in the hospital i'd be i'm dying yo i need help i have really bad anxiety if i could take too much yeah. of anything no yeah so i'm afraid of that kind of shit but i saw you literally i think we we're in this little beach like in the on, private beach it was amazing in the yeah. middle of nowhere and you're yeah. just like straight shroomed out yeah so i've seen it but it was a beautiful trip yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. The whole thing was amazing. Um, so you took a ton of shrooms. Yeah, I took 60 grams of shrooms. I put in, people like, how can you consume that much? Let me explain. Smoothie. And I'm not smoothie, orange juice to spike it up with vitamin C. Close my nose and just chuck the whole, like a protein shake. Yeah. And then fuck. So where were you when this happened? I was at my house, uh, living in the house on the water. And I was taking, let's rewind a little time back. I was taking 30 grams of shrooms during Corona. I had a jet ski behind my house, just yeah. going on the jet ski, having a blast. It was Corona. Everyone's scared. Come over to my house, shoot content. So I'm like, whatever, I'm going to do me. And then I started taking shrooms, 30 grams every day. And I'm like, what is it not working? I'm taking 30 grams. Then I read online, you have to take breaks to feel it. Yeah. So I started taking every two, three days. And then my friends from LA came out and I didn't sleep for three days. And I had a, like an hour nap and they came in at 8 a.m. on the Sunday. It was an Easter Sunday. 
And I was like, fuck it, boys. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to take 60 this time. They're like, you're fucking crazy. I'm yeah. like, nah, I'm going to have a beautiful trip. And I take 60 grams of shrooms. Everything was going fine. I make them take a lot too, but not like too much. Yeah. Not even close to the amount. Like probably, I don't know, three, like normal three yeah. grams. They're even scared to take three grams. Like pussies, come on, take it. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. I'm a little afraid. <laughs> so I have one jet ski and it's four friends. <laughs> I was like, guys, I got this private island we can come out to and we can just chill and have a great time. They're like, all right. So I get two guys on my jet ski. We're driving and the jet ski just starts sinking or we're just tripping. Like the trips just started to come up, you know, the mushroom yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I can't control the jet ski. And my friend's just laughing so hard and he's like falling off. I'm like, bro, let's go back. So we go back. The rest of my friends are throwing up everywhere. You just it's like, you know, how the stomachs. Yeah. yeah. So everyone's throwing up. I'm just laughing my ass off. I was like, you guys are all pussies. Come yeah, you're on. used to this shit. Yeah. And then uh, and then what happened? And we're just screaming at boats passing by, like funny shit, you know? Yeah. And some guy, now I'm looking back sober at it. He just went to say hi to the neighbor. And I thought he was coming to call the cops. That's what everything just went the fuck down. You, and I was you, like, you got into a bad, real bad trip. Bro, bad trip. Because what happened is, is like... I just heard my mom on like FaceTime and I didn't have a phone. My mom wasn't talking to me. Literally her voice is, everything's going to be all right. You're this, hearing this shit. Yeah. A whole bunch of boats pull out, but they really didn't pull out. I'm really seeing like, you know, sometimes when you trip and you just go like this and everything goes away. Yeah. No, I'm literally seeing fucking thousands of boats booing me. I'm like, what is going on? I was like, the whole world is tripping. How can I stop it? I took so many shrooms. It's like I made the whole world trip. And I just see planes. I'm like, fuck, this is bad. They're gonna, the pilots are probably going to crash because they're tripping. What did I do? The fucking, I it sounds up. like a scene in like, uh, like Doctor Strange when like the world is like fucking flipping in on Dude, itself. Dude, and then and I was like, fuck. I gotta, that's when I wasn't sober. I got to hide my drugs. So I have a two-story house. And I ran, picked up like ecstasy, okay, whatever, all the, all the goodies. Yeah. I'm running down and they, they spill. So I see slow motion, one pill going between the cracks over there. I'm like, oh, you shit. I'm like, that's it. And I just laid on my stairs, on the hard wooden stairs. I'm like, that's it. My life is over. Because you cop, thought people cop, were coming to get you? Cops are coming. Yeah. Then I run out. Then I run out. I was like, fuck it. I need to die. If I die, the whole, I will save the whole wor world. I was like, if I drown. What made you think that? Dude, I can't explain it. Man. Oh, man. It's not like I'm just thinking, I, no, I need to not. die. No. I'm like, if I die, the whole, like, I was like, if I jump. If I jump, I'm not going to be able to drown myself because I know I want to kind of live, but I want to do it fast. I was like, fuck, if I, have a, if I had a gun, I would have probably shot myself. Have you ever experienced anything like no, this before? No, bro. No. And took mushrooms over 50 times. Every time, beautiful trip. I go on my jet skis, uh, listen to Ramdas, you know, music, waves, 80 miles an hour, just living life. And they told you, don't take shrooms with, around a lot of people. You will have a bad trip. And uh, it just took... Yeah, it took that. But anyways, long story so, short, I mean, you like the details, right? I love it. Yeah, no, no. We want the details. Yeah, yeah. So the, nobody the knows. drugs are everywhere. You're laying on your thing. Yeah. Then I go back and I'm trying and everyone's like, everything's going to be okay. And they're laughing at me. And I'm like, just guys. But I, were yeah, they really laughing? Do you know? I think so. But yeah, they were, bro, everybody was in their own world. But Got it. Everyone just, they couldn't shut the fuck up. I asked, I need, I need to shut up. Like, you know, just please shut up and everything's going to be fine. And they were just like, ah, ah, like, anyways, uh, I come outside and was like, fuck, the cops are on top of my house with snipers. They're ready to kill me. So I get on my knees, open my mouth. I was like, fucking just shoot me. And I'm counting down. I was like, I have three seconds to live. They're about to shoot me in my mouth. You're there convinced was no of this. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, bro. It was. Oh my God. So I'm just, then I, okay. So then what happened is, uh, the girl the girls that were shooting for Vitalian Sensor, they hide all the knives in the kitchen. And I wasn't going there because that did cross my mind. I was like, I don't want a bloody death. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So I run out. I live a block away from the beach. And I run. And Jock started to start talking to the beach. I was like, no, what am I doing? What the fuck? I got to go back to the house. I go back to the house. Ah, you. Ah. I'm like, ah. What was I, this? What was it? My friends. Just yeah. fucking, yeah. So I run back out. And I was like, fuck it. I hear parrots. You see, houses are just melting trees sound I you hear the sounds of everything and i'm like it's so hard to breathe at this point I'm like <gasps> and i just lay down on the ground in the middle of the road and i'm like i have in 60 seconds i'm gonna die count now it's gonna suck that i didn't say bye to anybody 59 58 and i counted and it was like a second zero 
why am I not dead? What the fuck? But my body is literally, I would just feel like I was dying. What the fuck? So I run and ask these people for help and these people are getting scared. And I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. And then, and then when the girl is jogging, TMZ lied. I didn't jump out of the fucking bushes. That, so I'm running towards her. I was like, mom, mom. My mom lives in LA. My mom wasn't even in Florida. Yeah. I'm like, please save me, please. And I just ran up to her with open arms. Then I realized closer it wasn't my mom. I realized, oh, close to arms, like, please help. She, and all I remember is just get away from me. And she pushes me. And then I don't fucking know what demons came out or what trigger. Like, this girl didn't do anything to me. And I just yeah. fucking, you know, laid my hands on her and... I was on top and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? And then the TMZ article says, hit back in my house. I didn't. I walked back because I didn't know what I was doing. And then my friends were already freaked out by my actions in the house. So they called my security and he was just five minutes late because my security came out. He probably would have put handcuffs on me because he's the next cop. He has a gun, all that shit. Yeah. He would have taken me down probably. <sighs> by the way, I take responsibility for all my actions. I'm not blaming anybody but myself. So. Yeah. State play stupid game, win stupid prizes. And then, so he goes, Vitaly, there's cops outside. They want to talk to you. I'm like, okay, well, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm a, and then they just fucking tackle me on the ground. And I still don't know what's going on. And in the video, in the police world arrest video, you can hear I'm saying, guys, listen, guys, listen. And I'm trying to talk, but I couldn't put myself together. But what I was trying to tell the cops is that if you guys turn your sirens off and shut the fuck up, I will... I will go to sleep and I'll wake up and the whole world will be sober. I thought the cops were tripping. They were like, ah, like, dude, they were melting. They were, dude, I thought it was literally, I fucked up the whole world. What the fuck? Bro, like, I've, I've had, I've had bad trips before. Like no, I've I had don't. a bad trip, but never anything like this. <laughs> I, I mean, I've had I mean, a trip where like, I did feel like I was going to die for sure. I've had that feeling. I've had the feeling where like the world felt like it was closing in on me. What were you in these, during these um, times? Like bro, around your friends or in the room? Yeah. You know, I was good. Yeah. I was good. And I, I, my friends pulled me out of it, but it was, it was, there wasn't as much stuff going on. It was like a buddy of me and two buddies who did it. And like we maybe went outside, fucked around, and then I was like, "Yo, I gotta go inside because I'm nervous," um, and it got bad. But it always came, like I always came back. So this sounds like I mean I, I've never taken sixty grams. I, the most I've ever taken was three point five. Yeah, I'm reading yeah. comments. People are like he's capping sixty, sixty. He's capping. Like I probably sh I should be mentally insane, <laughs> you know? After yeah, I mean I've seen you take excessive amounts yeah. of mushrooms myself, and I'm not proud of it, and I don't recommend anybody to do it. But yeah. So what happened with all that? So is it like did you get a case? Like I got a case. Um, aggravated felony battery it got dropped the next day to battery because I didn't use any weapons yeah because aggravated is only if you use sticks or whatever right. and then I don't even know why I fucking did it dude I, I woke up in jail like coming back together and and I saw the charge they told me and I was like fuck you know and yeah what was the question I'm no just I'm just curious like what what, what like when you realize what you had done like and you were sober what was your first thought I wrote her huge letter apologizing. Obviously, apolog I didn't want her to accept my apology. What I did is fucked up. It could have been anybody, a guy, whatever. You know, I don't know why it's wrong, wrong time, wrong place. I don't know why I did it. I have yeah. no intentions. You know, I never hit girls. Like, I don't know why. But people are like, I don't know why. His demons took over my body. I don't know why I would have hurt somebody and punched, you know? Yeah. And um, so I, tr I wrote her a long letter. And then obviously, I couldn't get a hold of her. Dude, the next day was bad. My friend went jogging and he, he came back. He goes, look, there was posters all over my mugshot. We have a fucking uh, crazy, basically saying violent man lives in the neighborhood. Yeah. Beats up. Did you move? Place? Yeah, I got rid of my place as soon as possible. But I, not only that, I lost everything. I, yeah. I was like this, millions of dollars income gone. So all my brands dropped me, everything. Yeah. Yeah. And I deserve it, you know. And I work pretty hard on myself to be where I'm at right now. I'm healthy. I'm happy. And yeah, so it was a felony. It got dropped. Sorry, go yeah. back to your question. It got yeah. dropped. We set, The lawyer settled. So I was going to get deported. I was going to get a year in prison. And, uh, you know, I was... Did you, do, did you do time yet? No, I didn't. Everyone's like, he's finally out of jail. I never went to jail. I went to jail overnight. Got bailed out. 7,500 yeah. bucks. Pay 10%. 750. 750 bucks. I was out, but yeah, man, just depression, suicide, real suicidal came in and just uh, didn't want to leave my house. Yes. I just had down all the time to even go, go get water, food, and just was embarrassed and, you know, shamed, Cause, embarrassed. Because how long has it been since that? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. So it, how long did it take you to start to like, let go, recover, let go of it? Yeah, that's a good, yeah. Start to let go of it. When did you actually start to let go of it to, to start to actually 
brother, like that happened in April 12, 2020, probably end of probably bro well, to be honest i'm still in the back of my head man. Doing, yeah. So, yeah, it's, so i can't say i let go yeah. completely I, I have to live for, with it for the rest of my life regret it for the rest of my life but you know we all make mistakes no one's perfect and it's yeah. a big fucking mistake i jeopardized my career you know relationships and you know i'm just gonna prove the world that I'm not the old Vitaly, I'm the new Vitaly, the better version of Vitaly, yeah. you know, and I'm working on myself hard every single day. I'm sober seven and a half months, no alcohol, no drugs, no mushrooms, no quit nicotine. Nothing. No, no vapes, nothing, bro. Just, just no. I love it, man. Yeah, thank How you. do you feel? All right, guys. So quick interruption to the podcast. One of our sponsors, ShipStation. Um, this is actually a company that I've used and I use for the last like five years. ShipStation is one of the easiest ways, one of the most efficient ways, one of the most cost effective ways for you guys to get your orders out there to your customers. And I want to make clear it's not about you're not like sending, you're not shipping stuff to like your cousin in Nebraska or some shit. This is like actually a business platform that you guys can use to make your business more efficient on the back end. So it connects to Shopify, super easy, seamless with so many other things. So, all right, so if you guys wanna try it, sign up using promo code RAWTALK for a free 60 day trial at shipstation.com. That's two months, basically for free. Again, if you guys wanna try it, shipstation.com, promo code RAWTALK. Just click like the little microphone at the top uh, of, of shipstation.com and type in RAWTALK. That's how you get the discount. I love you guys, let's get back into this podcast feel amazing yeah i feel amazing yeah it was hard the first two months like not going out you know yeah. i wasn't gonna feel like dude because i'm gonna tell you i saw i interrupted you but yeah i saw you yeah before this happened at uh 11 i saw you at 11 randomly and okay. you were you like i remember seeing you i swear to god yeah. i remember seeing you i was with steve and i remember seeing you and you were at 11 with a table with a bunch of girls and you look fucking strung out like drugged out this was before this stuff happened yeah and i remember seeing you and me like Yo, this dude is gonna die if he keeps doing what he's doing. Yeah, I, like this is the thing. I'm not. There's. I'm not okay in this. It's not good that it happened. It's terrible that it happened. It's terrible for that woman. I felt like straight up, it's, if you kept going down that route, yeah. you would have ended up somehow dying. Because yeah, I, I swear, I saw you, dude. And I was like, Yo, Vitaly's gonna die if, if he keeps doing that. Yeah, and then you complete. I I agree. I mean, actually, nobody knows this. I overdosed in India. Uh, I yeah, overdosed. I didn't sleep for four days on ecstasy and tequila. I didn't drink any water for four days. Fucking bugs. And yeah, that. And then I had alcohol poisoning in 2011 here in Miami. I, it was, we graduated school. I believe we were 18. I was drinking, I drank the whole bottle of Sveca to myself. And I walked out to go to this 18 plus club. And then I walked in the alley because I felt so sick. I, I fell down. I threw up in my own mouth. So I died. Oh. A homeless guy went through my phone, went through my pockets, and grabbed my phone and called 911. Really? Yeah. So they revived me. I was in the coma for two days. Two, and it's 2011. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. This is before YouTube. Yeah. 2011, I think. Yeah. 2011. Yeah. That's like August when I started fucking Instagram, dude. That's when I started on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, man. I just like, it's the lifestyle. How did you get to that point? To what point? Like that, like the drugs, like get to that far level. Cause I know you were doing the, 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 I don't know if you're still doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still doing so it. I just, yeah, I'm still doing it. I knew it. that it was like crazy. You're making a lot of money. Yeah. And was that, do you think the thing that started? No, nah, I was always, I feel like not always, but after definitely getting famous on YouTube and having so much money at the young age, just you hang out with the wrong people, man. You know how LA is. I moved to LA. Yeah. Fucking Hollywood Hills parties every night, you know, the event this, go to this, go to this, hanging out around people. People love me. Yo, but you're the best. You're the best. Uh, come with me here. Come with me yeah. here. And just fucking all brainwash. Where are these people now? Nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I wanted to quit alcohol for a long time, to be honest, but it's just, it was like, I didn't wake up and drink and stuff. Like, was I an addict? Yeah. I was a binge, binge, binge addict. Binge drinker. Yeah, binge drinking. Like, yeah. yeah, if I would drink and I missed a month, I would make sure I drink in that day for the whole month that I missed. Yeah. 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 It's fucked up. Yeah. You, what, where do you think that mentality came from though? I don't like, know, bro. You just always been that way. Like you've yeah. always been like a, like an extremist, like personality. Yeah. I think with everything, like with my YouTube pranks, pushing the boundaries with everything, man, always always pushing the limits, you know, living in the fast lane and, you know, got caught up. What, what did you, what do you think you learned the most from that portion of your life living? Cause now obviously it's new. What's going on now? What's going on current in your life is different. But uh, from that, from like that time of way overdoing shit, going too hard, what in like dealing with all the nonsense, the social clout, whatever, all the bullshit, the fucking clout demons, all the people, what do you think you learned the most during that time in your life? 
Uh, what I learned the most, well, probably that I had a lot of ego, you know, the ego death. And then what I learned the most that I fucking, how fragile life is. And, you know, you can, you know, it's, fuck, it's, a, it's such a question. Um, I, I appreciate my life. And uh, I was just, a, I don't even know how to answer this question. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Uh, like during the whole time, like you think like that, your whole come up, all the shit, the, the negativity, the positivity, the popularity, like where you went in your life, how far you went, the money you made, the like from that portion, I'd say before that incident, what was the thing you think that you could take away the most from that? Because because that's the key, right? Moving forward in life and growing yeah. and becoming better. Yeah. Like, what do you think is the thing that you'd be like, damn, I'm really glad I learned this about myself or about life or about people or that about people that pretty much not everybody but could you know everybody wants to use you for everything that money and fame can ruin you you know a, a lot of celebrities that's yeah. what happens you know would i say money but money can buy happiness probably can buy you a lot of materialistic things to buy happy but i think i was the happiest when i had nothing yeah yeah and you know i appreciate uh I just uh, I appreciate life, man. I just I was living in the fast lane, and you know, my mom, my mom, of course, you know, my mom is so happy now. She doesn't have to really worry about me as much she used to worry. Yeah. So and just that. Yeah. Yeah, I think life life super fucking. I don't know, man. It's it's, it's delicate. It's fragile, and I think a lot of people um, get really caught up in like the money, the fame, the popular, and you're right. Like I've, the I've been, it's the ego, man. There's like, yeah. I've had a lot of ego. I'm the fucking shit every day. I woke up, I'm the shit, I'm the yeah. shit, I'm the shit, I'm the shit, you know? And I think those mushrooms should have did the ego death. Yeah. You know, just, uh, but I was a nice person, you know, like, yeah, yeah off camera. It's like, it, it is the character in the day, but yeah. Um, it's all learning I, experience. Yeah, no, I appreciate life a lot more now. You That's know? good. Uh, yeah. Do you, do you remember everything. Do you remember what happened at the uh, Logan Paul KSI fight? Yeah, of course I remember. <laughs> of course, then you're going to bring that out. I had to bring it up. Yeah, of course. Because <laughs> people, people, people think it was staged. No, it wasn't staged. But did you have a Roy rage? <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. I did it, bro. I do this with I, 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 I do this with Jackson. I do this with all like really good friends. And I thought we were really good friends. I literally like what's up, man? and I pushed your neck, and then yeah, I just I, couldn't. I just get I just get a punch in the face, but <laughs> you kind of miss. You swipe my glasses. The second one, the second one. The, the second? No, I didn't really. I don't yeah. know. Maybe I was drunk. I didn't feel anything, bro. Yeah, I really didn't. You, you, That's I why I didn't fight back. Drugs. Huh? I thought you. Were I was on not. Drugs. I was not on drugs. You sure? I had like two beers. Yeah, I will okay. tell you, bro. I'm so open yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. No, I was not. I, it was. It was my. I'm just gotta. I, gotta, no, I was gotta like, what's up? What'd you say? And he's gonna go bow. I cuss my Bradley. We're friends. And everyone's like in the comments. Yeah, I know. It was, was it? it was honestly like had you pushed me like this, yeah, it would have been different. I think the neck thing, yeah, it just sparked me. Yeah, some people are you know some people are different, and uh, I apologize if that still hurts you. Yeah, no, 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 it doesn't no, hurt me at all. I just want to talk no, about it. Yeah, but people thought we weren't cool after that. People, no, no, we, and we I was never. So cool. We were cool, right? Even after that, yeah, yeah. Course, right away we texted each other, be like, it's all good, yeah. it's all love. And I wanted to talk about that because people were like, blah blah blah. I want to clear it up. Yeah. Well, you got fucking great clickbait. You got seven million views using was, my name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Where's my cut? <laughs> oh, I mean, I wonder how much that made. I'm just kidding, bro. I can send you some. No, my YouTube okay. is demonetized. No, I'm kidding. So That's so, the old Vitaly. Where's my yeah. cut? Like, keep it to yourself. <laughs> so let's talk about the new Vitaly then. What's up? The like, new Vitaly. What, what do you plan to do? Like, what are you going to do different? Are you going to still make content? Like, are, like what, is the, what is your plan with it? Yeah, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a lot of content. I've already been filming a lot of content. I'm uh, I'm gonna probably bring more awareness in my videos about drugs and alcohol. Yeah. yeah, because my apology video touched so many people, and you know I read almost all the comments. I know it sounds crazy, but I do. I go through comments a lot, and just how much love and support and how much people I touched with my video, that you know I want to start doing more inspirational videos about you know promoting not promoting drugs and alcohol first of all why are we here this is well, the setup is, yeah, I no, actually completely forgot <laughs> well, what no. are you doing bro no 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 I, I had no idea I didn't even know you were sober this is honestly the first time we really talked in a mm -hmm. long time um this is just a different setup because it's it's in Miami my setup's at home you know that in LA oh by the way I forgot can I confess 
confess. Yeah, whatever. What do you want to confess? You sold me all the drugs. No, that's cap. <laughs> You're just kidding. That's cap. You can't put that on me. No way. That's cap. I'm kidding. Um, no, Bradley I, Martin sold me drugs. It's a trend, bro. Is, yeah, is the trend over? Actually, no, I'm kidding. I, no, people still come up to me and they're like, dude, honestly, but, it's, I'm kind of mean to kids, some kids sometimes because they'll be like. Well, it gets to you? No, it doesn't get to me. It's just like, it's old now. Okay. And so some kid will be like, yo, you sold me drugs. I'll be like, oh, yeah, I haven't heard that one before. Yeah. Like, it's, I heard it so much yeah. that I'm just like, oh, whatever. But I'm not actually a drug dealer. Not I know all. you're not a drug dealer. Yeah, not yeah. at all. Yeah, I mean, I no, I, I'm sure there's people that watch this. Me saying this right now, they left their ass off for sure. And yeah. I, I probably also sold drugs at a few times in my life. Really? But not like a drug dealer. Oh, okay. I've definitely like moved, moved drugs around. Okay. You know, but I'm not the guy that they come to and they. See, you know what I'm saying? Is that yeah. does that make sense? God damn. It. No, I'm saying I've I've moved drugs at some point in my life. Yeah. More before the fame. Um. Oh. Anyways, I, that's a weird thing to admit, but yeah. Um. Yeah. No, we're by Truth the bar out, yeah. because uh. You know, we're in Miami. It's okay. a Miami vibe. That's a little. It was a nice little setup. Yeah. Do you have a podcast or anything? Do anything like that? No, no, I don't have a podcast. Yeah. No, but um. Yeah. So back to the my Facebook scaling it. My YouTube. You know, a lot of people don't have notifications on. Ten million subscribers. I'm barely getting half a million views. But I took a long break. So you know, I just yeah. want to prove myself and to the haters that can be back on top. I love. Oh, I love. I lost my Instagram, my main one. That was a big, I just got my second back two Why'd years. Why'd you lose it? Promoting Vitaly and Sensor, but I think it was yeah. hacked because my second got deleted a day later and I just got it back a year and a half later and they said it was hacked. They uh, saw so I should get it back, hopefully within Your a month. Your main one? Yeah. Oh, nice. Three million, so yeah. Nice. And then, yeah, and then also, yeah, also, also, I'm doing fucking OnlyFans, bro. I went all out. With so my what beautiful you, what girlfriend. Do? What do you do? You just fucking on there? Fucking on there with my beautiful girlfriend. Really? Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Wait, come in here for a second. Come in here. She want to come in here or not come in here? Come on, cutie. I mean, you're on OnlyFans. She's on OnlyFans having sex with you, right? Yeah. I, corrupt, I'm not, I'm I, not, I think I corrupted her. I'm just, just kidding. Just a little, little FaceTime, you know? Just Yeah, a little FaceTime. Maybe stand there behind him for a second. How, how long have you known him for? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Come a little closer. You got a guy like... Baby, show your beautiful face. What's up? Two years. Two years. So you met him, you met him like right after the like nonsense? After, the, after what content? After, after like all the stuff happened. After yeah. All the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so what, what do you know? You got to get closer in here. Yeah, go ahead. So what, what do you know about him that we don't know about him? That he has like the biggest heart ever. Like, do you know how hard it is for someone to do something and actually own up to it and change from it? Like, it's so hard. I've seen this guy literally quit everything at the same time. That's, I've never seen anyone do that before. He's yeah. quit smoking, vapes, drugs, alcohol, like go through depression, suicidal. He actually was so sorry for what he did and built himself back up over it. That's a big deal. You know, it's easy to say, oh, I did this, I did this, but to actually work through it, that's a big thing yeah. you know people people fuck up all the time yeah. but it's so easy for us to judge each other yeah you know instead of working on ourselves he took himself away and he actually worked his ass off to be a better person yeah you if said, i knew him before i wouldn't have dated him yeah you said something i think is really important like just so the internet listening to this i'm not at all okay in like certain actions but i will say without a doubt like you like you're saying we all fucking make mistakes and it is much much easier for people on the outside looking in to like shit on you or what you've done or where you've been or yeah. whatever you did wrong. And it's much harder to look inside and make real change. And yeah. I think that's one of the most common things on the internet. I mean, as you know, you've been on the internet forever. It's very easy. You read the comments, people shit on you because of this, because of that, because of anything. And it's much harder as an individual to be like, okay, like where does that negativity come from? Because it's, yeah. there's something inside of you where it's coming from. There's something inside of you that you should likely work on that you're maybe Definitely. not aware of. And I think it is important um, to not kick people when they're down. Definitely. Like and, everyone's uh, angry. Everyone's so angry. Especially right Especially now. nowadays. So much stuff is going on. But the yeah. thing is, it's like instead of actually looking at what the problems are, everyone's facing all that anger to each other. Like yeah. everyone's so interested in like, you know, hurting other people. They don't actually look at what their issues are. And if they looked at what their issues are, they'd realize they're all the same problems from all the same people. Yeah. You know? So the, so the like, solution. angry at the wrong people, man. Come on. So the solution is fuck on OnlyFans. Yeah, fuck yes. No, she's. No, no. She, I didn't want to do it. She, she didn't want to do it. No, she's smart as fuck. But yeah, no, I literally kidnapped her from England. I, <laughs> and you know, she, she studied. She started, you know, talking to me and dating me at my bottom. So people can call her gold digger or whatever. If you saw her DMs, what kind of A-list celebrities? I believe it. DM. And guess what? She yeah. chose to go to Bali and she paid for her own flight. 
It would be hey. to be with me. Damn. That's true love right here, bro. Anybody can say anything. Yeah. I love this girl. That's amazing. Man. Yeah. So, bro, I'm proud of you. Thank you, bro. That's dope. Thank you. So, um, no, we're fucking Vitaly X Delia. Dot yeah. com. We're fucking, by the way, you know, it just. So, wait, uh, it's OnlyFans or X, it's a dot com? No, it's dot com to redirect to OnlyFans, but it's a same Got thing. it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Delia. Vitaly X Delia. We're going to plug, plug, plug. Why not? Yeah. Like, no, I don't care. Go for it. Times are crazy, man. Like, yeah. you know, the end of the world could happen next year. We don't know this. Are you, you know? involving other girls or is it just like that? We'll see. I don't know. Just us. Yeah. I'm, ha chilling. I'm happy it's just with her, bro. Yeah, it's just best, homemade video. Best sex of my life. Damn. That's amazing. Let's go. Let's go. That's what's up, dude. I love it. And plus, I redeemed myself. I finally got hard. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's too funny. Dude. Yeah, no, it just honestly, it's just to take that money. It's crazy how much money you can make, but whatever. I, but it's just to it's reinvest crazy. into my pranks and just you know, like at forty years old, you know, I want to have fucking real estate around the United Did States. You no, when I'm forty oh, years old, when he's forty, <laughs> when he's yeah. forty. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm sure. Don't, don't you run an OnlyFans page? No, I, I help, I help oh. manage girls OnlyFans. See, I don't have my own. I've been thinking about it though, to be honest, it, man. bro. You should do bro. it. Why not? I like, don't know. Well, it's like, what am I going to just show my dick? Oh, is it small? No. <laughs> a, no. No. He gives it. No. No, it's not. No. It's, I think it's actually, I think the internet would hate me a lot more if I did OnlyFans. Oh, really? have another reason to hate me, yeah. What, people hate you? People love to hate on me, bro. Are you? No I'm way. Like, like selling drugs and stuff, like joking way, No, but bro. there's a lot of haters. In my, at, least, at least in my specific, the fitness industry, there's a lot of haters. Oh, those oh, yeah, people, definitely. but they don't say, yeah, of course, because you're, you're probably the most successful. Out of all. all right, guys, shout out to one of our sponsors, Via Hemco. Now, the reason why I'm so excited about this sponsor is because I personally am in love with CBN products. They legit help me sleep. These guys have like gummies of all different varieties of products with CBN, CBD, little bits of THC. I'm not a big THC guy because honestly, especially through edibles, if I eat a little bit too much THC, then like my whole night's ruined. Like I'm probably calling the ambulance on myself and be like, I'm having a fucking heart attack. But these products are so nice, so smooth. Like I've never had an issue with like, cause there's a small amount of THC in some of the CBN products that I take. Um, they also have CBG, which is like super helpful with focus. I love these products. I love the flavors. I love this company. These guys are dope as hell. They're doing a 40% sale off right now. So if you guys use code Bradley at checkout, on top of the 40% sale, they're gonna throw in a free THC gummy. That's a five milligram one, which is like super light. Something that even if I take, I don't have a bad time with. So if you wanna check them out, Go to viahemp.com. That's V-I-I-A, hemp.com. Use code Bradley at checkout. You're going to get some free stuff. Products are amazing. The gummies taste incredible. Uh, give it a shot. Seriously, easily one of my favorite brands when it comes to edibles, specifically CBN, which like I legit like use religiously. It helps me fall asleep. It's just amazing. So let's get back to this podcast. Yeah. You smash it. Yeah, yeah, you're killing it, bro. So, so, uh, but I do think about it. It's just like, what am I going to be like? Here's my cock. You know, it's like, do you know what? It's more like, just do it. Your life, your choice, right? You can do whatever you can, the fuck you, you want. You can be a star and a prankster. You can do whatever you want to do. Like, we've literally been like, here's all of us. Screw it. Why does everyone care so much? You and know? plus, it's cute little it's home videos. I wouldn't call it porn. It's cute little yeah, home videos. Cute, 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 cute little so home cute. videos? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're just cute little home videos of your girl. That is real. Like, wow. I think the one that we did, but like, last was I banged my head in the washing machine. <laughs> Wait, yeah, you're so going real, crazy. It's so real. You're going, yeah, yeah, get it's a photo, so real. by the way. Get a photo, by the way. Um, wait, so, so cool. <laughs> wait, so you're having, uh, wait, you're you're doing like the classic, like, oh, can you get my laundry out of the thing? You're yeah, just, yeah. It's <laughs> just fun, man. It's just fun. But you can hear me fully be like, ow, my head, like I fully banged. And my I head. almost turned on the washing machine by accident. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you, did. There. you know how hard it is on tiled floors. We both were our knees were killing. I don't know how old we are, but that, our knees are killing. Does he have any weird kinks? Oh, he loved uh, She ruined me. I, I didn't know a lot about sex. No, of course I do. But, bro, her fetishes, man, fuck, dude. What? Give you, us one. Give, Tell us go one. Ahead. Tell us one. Go you, ahead. Go make ahead. sure you talk close to the mic. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Babe. Come in sorry. there. Come in there. <laughs> go, go ahead. Um, which which Just time? Come in close. so much already. There's come so in close to the come mic. Come closer. Go oh, ahead. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Yeah, there testing, you go. Perfect. Testing. It's ASMR. Um, there we go. Yeah, no, we've done so much. That's the whole point. Just exploring. Well, he wants to know. I want to know one like, the fucking... The one that I love is obviously, like, domination. So I love, like, tying him up. Yeah. <laughs> no! And he likes tying me up. Yeah, we like tying each other up. Why Yeah, are you for real? Man? No, no, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying No, I don't give a fuck. She, 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 she tied me for two hours. And for two hours, I literally couldn't get out. And she was doing some crazy shit to me. But she wants to peg me it's never gonna happen i really want to peg him no yeah. Yeah, no i'm good everyone kept telling me oh like, i think he's gay i'm like he's definitely not gay i know this for a fact 
But I want to make that ass mine. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro, if you gave me a million dollars right now in the suitcase, they do it? No. 10 million. No, no, no. Where's the villain image going to go? <laughs> but a billion, though. No. no. Oh, billion? Fuck yeah. yeah okay, okay. okay. You would do it too. Of course. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, what the no. fuck? Honestly, t- honestly, let me set a real price. 10 mil. 10 mil. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, but nah, but nah, we get crazy, bro. She's she's wild, it's man. It's fun. It's yeah, I love fun. it. And bro, her birthday is the day after mine. We're both Pisces. Yeah, I'm no, March. Eight. My mom. mom is March seven. I'm March eight. She's March nine. Yeah. What the Cra- fuck? Crazy <laughs> fucking family. Crazy yeah. Nah, she's amazing overall. I'm, I'm not just. So, I'm not with her just because she's the most beautiful girl in the world. Wow, that's sweet. This is she's so. She's really nice. smart. And you know, I'm, I was all started. This is the proof that you can achieve anything in life. Do you think these are my standards? I, I didn't think I was getting, I just all it sent her is high. And when she responded high back, I'm like, <laughs> like, I can't believe it. And this is when I had my broken back in my oh, neck. Yeah. And she sent me a, a video of her. Like we talked for a while before yeah, this. I was that. like, can you come for me like this? I'm, she sent me a cute little video in the bathing suit, just dancing. Dude, do you know how, how good I jerked off to that video? Wow. And with my broken back in my neck, I'm like holding it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> the face, the face. This face. girl, bro. It was, you know how much pain it was in. But no, nah, she she was amazing. And then we just keep wanting to meet, meet, meet. We met in London at the fight, and I invited her to come with me. She goes, no chance. And then I don't know where she jumps to come ready. So let's go. That's, yeah. God. How did she, she never came home? <laughs> so so. I never, I never went home. That's when you guys like fully committed. Was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So do you guys like living in Miami? I love <laughs> with like a pause yeah, yeah we love miami i live uh like three minutes away from here yeah no we're planning to get a we're planning to get a house and not back uh, to la though huh huh never back oh, to la fuck no bro yeah, well, i can't tough. believe he's still living there man no no, yeah. no 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 but yeah what do you think you hate the most about la the whole what do you miss the most though there's got to be something you miss bro honestly nothing really honestly I t- if i was still doing drugs i would say cocaine in hollywood hills Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. If. Yeah. yeah. If, yeah. If I was still doing drugs, but no, I don't miss that. I don't. I don't. I. What? Everything's fucking expensive. What can you miss? Venice Beach. You can't even go. It's homelessness with machetes. Yeah. Santa Monica Pier. No. It smells. I mean, <laughs> the homeless population is crazy, and how dangerous it got. People getting killed over our Rolex, and you know, mm. uh, nice follow you with the nice cars. It's like hell on earth. Dude. Right? Dude. Yeah. I don't know, bro. The, the, LA's crazy. Nothing, man. I'm sorry. What okay? What I miss maybe experiences with other YouTubers and vloggers, yeah. but it's that was in the beginning, when you know when they used me and all that whatever. Who do you think used you the most? Who do you felt used by the most? Oh my God! I'm not even gonna name Joe. Fuck, that's a tough question, bro. I don't know. Just everybody's like, you know, when I was killing the game, everyone's like, post my new merch, post this, post this, uh, promote it, please do a swipe up. I do it, and then when I release something. Uh, I'm dropping something in the week. It's not the right time. Yeah, but I'm not gonna name drop him. Yeah, yeah, everybody, motherfuckers. I will, no, I <laughs> yeah, it's kidding. like that though, man. That industry is interesting. Like, for, I've been in it forever now too. It's just like, especially the I don't know the newer kids coming up. Like, they're just vicious, man. They'll do anything to like climb the ladder, climb the ranks. Yeah, I can't even believe that the TikTok and all that thing going on. Yeah, do you use TikTok? <laughs> I got banned. Bro, completely banned. Canceled, trying to, they're trying to cancel me for, yeah, for pranks, literally. No girls, nothing. Community guidelines, community guidelines. I got a few strikes and then, and then they deleted my account. Do you, do you think there's a way to do it without getting fucked? There's got to be a way to make content. Yeah, verbal pranks, no actions. Like climbing pyramids was a uh, dangerous activity. Oh, I me see. Me and the Lambo, dangerous activity. So we're going to launch uh, our couple's TikTok and we're just Vitaly X Dahlia. And, and, just have it. well. okay. and it's a great, crazy, crazy conversion for OnlyFans TikTok. It's like a number yeah, one Yeah, that's what I've heard about. Yeah. I know that too. Yeah. Um, so any other projects that you're working on? Is it just, is it the focus is the, the OnlyFans vibe? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's having fun. It's really like, it's a great project, but we're living our life, you know? Yeah. We just take the phone out real quick. Yeah. yeah. You don't think, because I think like, I don't know. I feel like if I was in a relationship, if you felt like you had to, like if I had to video my girl sucking my dick, it'd be like, uh, at some point, is it like, does it make it different? Does it make it hard? I, I was, I meant to ask Adam 22 this cause I did a podcast with him and I didn't ask him. And we, he's like, has so much sex and he films so much. You never have that like, be like I have to do this video. We have to no, film No, most it. of the time she's like, get this angle. I'm like, I'm like, grab the phone. Or he's like, grab the phone. And I'm like, what now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how long have you been doing it for then? Uh, we just three days ago. So that's what I'm saying. Like, do you think at some point you're gonna be like, "Fuck!" Like, I got, we gotta if, film it because everything becomes yeah. work at some point, no matter what. I don't think we should ever mm. let it get like that because you got like that with YouTube. 
Yeah, yeah, everyone gets like that with you too. And then it's not fun anymore. You know? yeah. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. It's like, yeah, it's like, no, we definitely have se amazing sex off camera, but yeah, sometimes when we're in the zone. Yeah. But we shot a lot of content. Oh it's great, God. like fucking a lot. Do you want kids? Do I want kids? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only reason, no, yeah. Before I was like, no way, no way. Uh, if it's a girl, it's going in a trash can. But now, <laughs> yeah, you're he so said that to me. Wait, it is not smart to say it, but they're, Bro, yeah. it's, uh, it's no. You know what? It's from it's, dic a, it's from dictator. Yeah, it's yeah. A, no, actually, I never wanted a girl. I wanted a little boy. But after meeting Roman's little girl, bro, she was so nice and happy and always smiling. That yeah, I maybe. Do you want kids? Yes, definitely. With smart. the right, yes, definitely with the right person. Obviously, like I could see me and B having kids. Do you? You don't. So you don't. So this is like the. The age old question is like, you know, the pornography stuff. Do you ever think your kids would have to deal with that? Well, hopefully we can provide for our kids if we have kids with yeah. the money from OnlyFans yeah. to have a better life, you know? Like yeah. times are hard. No, for sure. And honestly, you know what they say, like always stays on the internet, but we, we can probably most likely wipe it. Yeah, but who cares anyway? <laughs> like naked people. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? what? Now, how are you going to wipe it? Well, for, well, I don't. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, now you make me look stupid. No, DMCA force. Yeah, no, but so you, you can, you can. When I did the bang bus, I blew up the bang bus. They invited me over. They have the rights to the. They had the rights to the video, so they just told them, you know, to delete because they own the rights. So they yeah. flagged it as a DMCA force. And the thing went went off most of the websites. Yeah, but right. These no, you still found. I found like three thousand. <laughs> I found like three thousand links of the bang bus. All right, bus. guys, I take that back, man. I, I still haven't even seen it yet. I need to watch it. Oh, you haven't I, seen have it? Have you seen it? Of course, I, I've I, seen am it. Am I the only one who hasn't seen it? I feel like the whole internet's seen it. I know. <laughs> I was telling her about it. How badly I was getting bullied. Now I'm laughing at it. Yeah, he got no, bullied. Look, oh, Vitelli's actually hung. Yeah, you haven't seen shit yet, though. <laughs> he got bullied. He huh? got you got bullied for a minute. Yeah, yeah you did. Oh, you remember that? Oh yeah. No, but now it's funny. But before, yeah, like fucking getting to definitely comments. But nobody said ever in real life. Yo, that's the guy with this yeah. limp dick or whatever. Nobody, yeah. you know, it's it's the internet the ruthless, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, they are. Internet always wins. So, are you on? Do you like do social media? Have you been doing social media, or is this all I'm brand not new to you? Lie, I hate social media. It's yeah. yeah. in hate, her bio. I never like. It was in my. I had to it's take still, it out for our website, but oh, okay. yeah. I always hated social media. So I only that, had it for work. Like, I bro, like she and I'm like not saying that just to say, but I have never had a woman girl make me laugh as much as she's funny as fuck, bro. You're yeah, funny as fuck. She is so like she generally makes me laugh till I cry. <laughs> Yeah. We need uh, a camera. Amazing. I feel like you we guys need a are so fucking cute right now. I can't even lie, bro. Oh, no. So oh, cute. Oh, yeah, it's, <laughs> ama it's amazing, man. It's amazing. Yeah. So so okay. So earlier. You were trying to answer a question. I feel like you had a hard time answering the question. Which one? It was about it was about uh, that time in your life, the, the 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 dark time in your life. Yeah. And the question was, what did you think you learned the most from that? And I wanted to give you another opportunity to try to answer that differently this time because I feel like you just kind of, I don't know. I feel like you want to say something, but maybe you didn't say it. Like so, the shittiest time in your life, or I mean, at some points it was I'm one of the drenched in sweat, bro. It was the greatest time in your life at points. It yeah. was lowest time, greatest, lowest all the drama all the nonsense what did you think you learned because you've been through a lot of shit and you've seen a lot of shit you've done a lot of shit you've been you, internet for so many years what do you think it taught you the most what do you what'd you learn from it the best part to be a better human being yeah why why yeah why do you think why do you think you learned that from it because you well i think the the fuck man because because like before like did you think about being a better human or you were just like I thought I, I that's funny that's a, maybe I think that's the ego I thought I was a good human I mean I was a good human but yeah definitely the fame and money got to my head and you know I just needed to settle down with the ego yeah and yeah ego shit go ahead. what go ahead you have something to say ahead, I know she was doing I feel like at the end of the day like he's so sorry he really is that it is still quite a little bit hard to talk about so he does go a bit quiet you know you have to remember I've, I've been there like I've literally seen this guy like break down over this yeah so you know he's always going to feel guilt he's you can see from Thank you, you can see it. he's gosh. always going to feel so much guilt yeah. and I do feel like that's one of the things he hasn't really addressed because it's he's still healing so you're still guilty yeah, you no, still feel guilty yeah, of course yeah yeah like what do you think it's going to take for you to not feel that like do you think you ever to, to, uh, forever i don't know it takes time right they say he, everything heals with time but um i'm not sure what about this yeah 
yeah that shit fucked me up mentally and you know i'm gonna have to live it for the rest of my life and actions speak louder than words i just have to prove the world then you know i'm not the vitaly that saw in the video yeah the my rest video yeah yeah i feel that man yeah um are there any questions you have for me because we haven't talked in some time why do you have chicken legs don't cut chicken legs. <laughs> what are you saying? That you know that's cap. Of course. Look how it's getting. Yo, what are you Yo, talking yeah, about? I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just being. Yeah. Just being myself. Okay. No. Nah, yeah. Are you getting it? We punch you in the face again, bro. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. I got him. No, I'm you got with you. No, homo. Nice legs. Thank you. Thanks, you. No, but seriously, just yeah. to save myself, not get punched. No. No. Uh, what questions? Um, how you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. I'm doing really good. What have you been up? Yeah. What have you been up to? Honestly, this is the thing I enjoy the most. Making really? this kind of content, talking, yeah. Do you upload once a week? This is once a week. Uh, we still do like the vlog stuff. We still do the fuck around content. Like a few, how many days a week we upload on that, Jacob? This guy does everything. Yeah, three, three in, in one podcast. And then I do the the full send podcast with uh, the boys. Yeah, I saw so, it. Yeah, I've been watching it. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of content I enjoy the most, hands down. Like That's it's what Romans say, yeah. Why is that? I just Honestly, I think because I've done so much of the other content for so many years, yeah. and I like doing it, and I do still enjoy it, but it's, it's not the same, you know? Like, this is something that I just feel like there's so much more that you can get from it than just, hey, look at this crazy shit. I feel like people can really learn something. Like, yeah. learn, like, guarantee people will watch this and be like, oh, I didn't know this about Vitaly. And yeah. then, and then they think yeah. about that and then they, they reflect on themselves and they're like, Oh, I didn't know this about myself. It made me think about this. And have I, have I been doing that? Or it's yeah, like, exactly. it's just more introspective instead of like, like we talked about earlier, the people who are like on the internet, you fuck up and they're like, fuck that guy. He's a bad person. Right. We, we could understand like that thought, but then going further than that and understanding like, damn, well, like, you know, who am I really? That's why I start asking these questions. Like, what did you really learn? Cause I want to understand because you went th through some like that, is fucked and it can it destroys a lot of people and yeah. that's why i ask you those questions i'm not trying to put you on a spot and make you feel uncomfortable it's just to understand you as a person and what you learn because i may never go through that but i want to know what you learn through it right so i'm so interested and this is why i like this content is, is learning about just life and people's lives and, and what they've gone through and how they got to where they are and how, what they think about where they got yeah. and, and you know what they think about their mistakes and past transgressions in life and and what you learn because that's the most valuable part in all this shit. Cause like, yeah. what's the, what, what's our point otherwise is to try to grow and to get better and to learn and to, to give love and to feel love. And that's all life's about. So that's why I like this content so much. And that's why I wanted to do this one with you. Cause I know you've done everything. You've had the highest of highs. You've had the lowest of lows. Like, and now you're here trying to reinvent, you know, who you are to the world again. And, and, and that's why I ask you those questions. Yeah. But that's why I love this content. Cause like you, <laughs> if you didn't go through all that shit, you wouldn't have anything to say. You know what I'm saying? Like that the most success that I've had in my life is because I've gone through things in my life that I was able to actually speak on and say, this is who I exactly. am. This is what I've done. Yeah. So that's why I like it so much, man. Like I love this shit and I'll do this forever. So. That's, that's actually amazing. That's a great, great thing. I love it. That's awesome. You, I was trying to think of what I was trying to say. Oh, it's so hard. Sorry, it's so hard for me to. It's my first ever thing. I've never no, you're done, good. Never yeah. done podcasts or anything before. Just keep it close. Super like nervous. Like it's a dick. Yeah. It's so, <laughs> yeah sorry. Yeah, no, only fans. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> stop. That's going to get you some new subs. I'm just yeah, saying. For sure. It's fine. Go ahead, um, yeah, when he asked you, you go quiet, but it's funny because me, your mom, everyone, all of his friends, every friend that I've been introduced to, they've all like said to me. three. <laughs> no, it's been like 10, 20, whatever. I don't you know, have 20 all, friends. You have not real friends yeah, yeah. but yeah, all his you know, friends but have friends. literally said to me you know um it's so horrible like it's horrible what happened you know i feel i feel especially after i've been through domestic violence and stuff you know yeah. i feel for that woman you know he feels for this woman um but you know everyone around everyone around him can see that he has become such a better person yeah. so at least it's something positive we can take away from it me and your mum we see everything you're so much more humble you've learned self discipline you know you've, yeah. you've learned about if you slow down people. <laughs> yeah yeah you've yeah. learned to slow, slow down. down you've exactly. learned that you're not invincible you've that's learned, what i thought it was yeah, yeah it's like you thought you were invincible untouchable maybe but, that's what i know, learned about myself there you go yeah, yeah. that i thought i was invincible yeah. i was untouchable but you're not you thought you were exactly like, yeah king of the castle king okay. of the castle but you're not you know exactly. <laughs> yeah um, yeah we're all human yeah, we're all human we're all human yeah so it's nice for us to see that he's actually changed you yeah. can't sit here and be like, I've, I've changed this way. We see it. No, you know, you know after, yeah. after 
the incident happened. I tried to like upload an apology video three, four months later. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm high on fucking Adderall. <laughs> like I'm not yeah. sober. Like why I would I lie to people? Yeah. yeah. So I like filmed it four times high yeah. and I was like, I'm not ready. So it took me that long to get ready. And you know, it was worth the wait. You know, I think I got everything off my chest and I can come on your podcast. I went to Roman's podcast. Yeah. I'm sure I'll have a lot more podcasts and you know, I can speak finally about it because I addressed it first on my channel and now I can go in more details because I didn't address those details on my YouTube video. If yeah. you guys want to check it out, go ahead. It's called The Truth of My Dumb Foe. Vitaly Zdarevetsky. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. But hopefully it's good. not a downfall forever. No, you know, only yeah. way is up, baby. Click, click, maybe clickbait. Yeah, we might, <laughs> we might, we might, click, we might clickbait. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do if it's, yeah, if it's like, a prison? You gotta for get fucking views on that, right? Yeah, of course. Um, okay, so so the 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 OnlyFans stuff, the the sex stuff, the coming back on YouTube. Um, do you have any other things that you are working on? Um, I'm about to go a thing in the boxing camp again. Uh, really? Yeah, with Kristen, Miami, October 14. I don't know if I can say this, but I don't give a fuck because I'm the villain, right? You can post this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we rematch. I mean, first of all, I won the first fight. It was 3-1. I won three rounds and won the professional commission, you know, uh, rated the fight. Was I horrible? Like a fat cow? I was. Boxing is no joke, dude. Yeah, I was no, I out know. of breath. And it's, but he had, she was there. He, and she has videos. He had bought me three times. He should have been disqualified. But, you know, I think they want to do a rematch. So we'll see. It was crazy. I went to Russia to train for it. <laughs> that's, that's dope. What? That's dope. Yeah. I went and then I went to Russia to train for it. And I was just so disciplined. It was amazing. But it's so hard, which I love because it's something new. But, it's in Miami this time in my hometown. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going to take it. We're still in the would you ever Would you ever do like an MMA fight, a UFC fight? I wanted to be the first YouTuber to. That's what I, I want to do. I, 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 I tweeted. I was like, you old pussy ass bitches. Well, boxing with gloves. Why don't we go raw hands? And in, yeah. in the octagon, nobody responded. That's what I want to do. I want to be the first. Well, one uh, you're not going to be my opponent. <laughs> 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 but yeah. yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll be. What is, so what are you doing for that? I'm not doing anything for that because it's just is, back in your head. I'd I love to do that. Man. Everyone's a pussy on YouTube. I'm sorry, yeah. all the creators. No one's going to do it. Yeah. Uh, who knows? Maybe they will. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. So what but else you actually want to like, be in Dana White, own it, or like you actually want to compete? No, no. If I'm saying like I want to be the business guy behind it. Yeah. I, mean, I want to set up. I, I want to be part of an event like that. I'm not yeah. I don't know necessarily the logistics of it, but if I was ever going to do it, because people are like, why don't you box? It's like, if I fight, I really want to like use everything, you know? Yeah. Like be able to use it all and not just, you know, striking because boxing is striking. And I don't know if I'm the best striker or not. I know, but physically that I'd like to be on the floor, I think. Like a little more. <laughs> Yo, I saw how you dropped Steve, bro. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. It, that was crazy. Uh, yeah. You literally picked him up like a cat. Yeah, light. <laughs> Lightweight, yeah. man. Lightweight. Um, so along the fighting stuff. So you're talking about Kristen, right, Hamby? Yeah. Okay. Uh, isn't he a lot lighter than you? Yeah, so it wasn't a professional fight because... I was 20 kilos uh, above him, but he was running the whole time in the ring because I told him I'm going to finish him in 60 seconds. And I think the coaches told him, like, hey, run Just away. Just don't let him. Yeah, I was like Tom and Jerry run the whole ring, dude. I was trying to catch him, catch him. But yeah, so it was a draw. And then the prof PBA, Professional Boxing or P Commission, DM me like, oh, it's your birthday because next day was my birthday. It's your birthday. We're going to rate your fight, you know, because we love you. I was like, oh, wow. And they broke down the points. It was Four, three ones. It was four rounds total. I won yeah. three rounds. Are there any other influences you'd want to uh, box? Um, yeah, of course. Who? Who who's, who's <laughs> I just, knew that was coming. I knew that was he's coming. He's fighting Deji, zero and three. Like, yeah. really, bro? But he got smoked the first time he fought. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah, but. He's light, too. He, he Like, how much you weigh right now? Because you look 230. bigger. Yeah, you're big. He's, like, skinny right now, bro. He's yeah. lean as fuck. I've never seen that guy more like uh, dedicated to being fucking in shape than I than ever. Like I've known him for years. You've known him for years. He's like in crazy shape. But he always goes like this. I don't know. I don't yeah, know he does. He always well, does. Well, just that, like kind of me. Yeah, it's hard to maintain it. I feel like I don't know how you maintain it. You eat healthy, right? Yeah, I eat super to chocolate. Healthy. I need to go to CA meetings. Chocolate anonymous. Really, yeah. bro. Yeah. I have we to love hide Nut the Nutella. She hides the fucking Nutella in the middle of the night, I and to, I flip yeah. it, bro. I look well, the key it. is just not buying it. That's the key. Like, yeah. I, if I have it in my house, I'm fucked. But I have to buy it to put in her ass. The Nutella. Yeah, yeah. it's Nutella and the booty, baby. That's kind of fire. That's a snack. That's a <laughs> That's real a whole snack. snack. Oh, yeah. man. That's yeah. kind of fire, though. I'm going to yeah. try that. Try. Have you ever had a Nutella hot dog? Like a Nutella on a hot dog? <laughs> 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 
What the fuck are you talking about? No, like, have you, you ever, have you ever given a Nutella hot, hot dog? What's a Nutella? Oh, what a Nutella you? on my dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I've never done I, that. I worded that bad. <laughs> no. Like, have you ever had Nutella? <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, what am I saying? I'm yeah. asking if you No, I've never done that. I've never done that. Yeah, it's cool. I never yeah. had it kind of once, like, maybe 10 years ago. But that's why I came up with that. It's a cool Nutella hot dog. Damn. You want a Nutella hot dog? But it's crazy how then that Nutella on the booty went viral for me. Like I was picking up girls, just let me spread the Nutella on your booty, and it became like the biggest fucking line. You know? Really? Yeah, that's where it came from. Because I grew up poor, so all I had is not even the real Nutella. I had chocolate butter and, <laughs> and bread with tea every morning. So it was like when I had a little bit of money, I started trying Nutella. I was like, Nutella on the booty. Hey, can I spread the Nutella on your booty? And it became like a huge thing. Yeah. That's crazy. not how he got me. I'm just saying. That's how he got that's he you, you, you heard about he the Nutella. She loves Nutella. He had me a Nutella. Yeah, I do love Nutella. She, she, yeah, that's all he had to do. I'm getting like, it tattooed. Yeah. What? Like yeah, a little can? No, yeah, Nutella. Yeah. That's oh, kind of lit. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. near the butt? On the butt somewhere? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Never in my little peach. Where are you going to put it? <laughs> Maybe on my leg. Are you actually going to get that? Yeah. That's fucking funny. Fuck. What's your dumbest tattoo? Me? Yeah. They're all inspiring, crazy, nice tattoos. I don't get dumb tattoos. I don't know why people get it now, bro. Wait. <laughs> you you know the story about this you want to laugh yeah. every girl is at, like when i went out the girls asking what is that i'm like oh sorry huh? I, my yeah so when i went out in la girls like what is this i'm like it's my superman powers combining all the hoes together and you're they, fucking <laughs> stupid yeah, what is it? because what is it actually adrenaline yeah, h-o-h-o yeah. H-O, yeah. but they believe me that's the funny part yeah. like oh my god wow, in la they believe fucking anything yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the questions? they believe yeah anything. no it's like your life your choice my prayer the prayer that i didn't say before i jump out of the plane and broke my back i was born sick but i love it you actually do have some cool tattoos oh, you don't have a dumb one you don't have any no dumb no ones. i would never do a dumb good. tattoo good, i solid. have a tequila yeah. shot yeah he, he's like that, he was a tequila addict and now I, I met him and i had the tequila shot on my ankle it's not bad <laughs> i'm like sorry yeah i only have one tattoo okay. are you getting any more i don't i don't think so mm. yeah i think i just keep it one and done okay so at the end of every episode if you guys didn't know we do audience questions um you guys could email us your questions at askrawtalk at gmail.com or you could dm dm us on get raw talk it's on instagram so i'll answer or what it can be you can answer first whatever but it goes with three of these Hello, Brad and guest. I'm currently battling depression and aggravation and aggravation with knowing I'm destined for, for more than just working 50 hours a week at a company I'm not passionate about. I work full time, am in college, started a podcast, run a small side business and train regularly in jujitsu. My question is how can someone deal with depression and aggravation when they know they're supposed to be doing what they're passionate about in life and is doing too much, this is how they wrote it, FYI and is doing too much, possibly causing the problem. So doing too much and causing the problem. Any, any replies appreciated, thanks in advance. So what do you think? This is someone basically saying they're doing a ton of shit is what it sounds like. Because I was gonna say, get out, how I got out of depression is write goals for the next day and actually complete them. That helped me to get, you know, that was the staircase to get out of my depression. But what he's saying, he's busy? He's saying he like, he, he's, he's working, apparently he's working 50 hours a week at a company he's not passionate about. Okay. So he works full time, he's in college, he started a podcast, he runs a small side business and trains jujitsu. He's just talking about what he's doing. And he's saying, how can someone deal with depression and like being aggravated about it when they know they're supposed to be doing more? Like basically more in regards to their but passion. It sounds like he's doing what he loves. He just needs to quit his full time job. Yeah. You can't just go around quitting jobs. Of course well, I, do. I mean, I'm not telling everybody yeah. to quit it, but that's what I did. I was like, mom, I'm going to fucking make it. You just, I, that's my mentality. But Maybe also it's a, times have changed, man. Like Times have changed. You can make money on this for just everybody. And fans, I'm not, man. no, I'm this is before. This is on YouTube. Like, dude, I came home. I had 3,000 subscribers. I ripped off my tie. And I said, mom, I'm not going to be a waiter anymore. And she goes, she starts crying. How are you going to pay your bills? I'm just like, just fucking watch. Just wait. Yeah. Just, yeah. And, you know, I kept doing my videos for six months until I got my first paycheck from Miami Zombie Prank. But, like, I believed yeah. it and I saw the vision that I'm going to be one of the most successful YouTubers. So if he has a roof under his head and food or I don't know how much money he has saved. I didn't, I was a waiter. I didn't have shit. I just, I just said, fuck it. Whatever happens, happens. But, yeah. you know. But yeah, I mean, yeah. what are you? Th maybe I'm yeah, wrong. No, no, no. I think you're right, man. I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna agree with you on the the. I think the thing that a lot of people do that's interesting. Um, I understand the idea of being safe and not being like, okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna do something and have no like, like you said, a roof over your head or any sort of income to like eat and like do the most basic things. But 
at some point you do have to not give yourself an option for plan B. And I think that's really important. Like what basically what you did. And I know I did the same thing. I said, this is what I'm going to do. Fuck everything else. And I gave myself like I, all my attention, all my effort, and all my energy went to that. And now a lot of other shit in my life got fucked up. I wasn't doing well financially, but like I knew that if I kept going in this direction, eventually it would work. Now, the difference is it's hard, not necessarily harder nowadays, because I don't I, I think it's much easier with social media. Um, obviously, like, you know, shout out Joe Biden and inflation and all the shit that we have going on. It's a lot harder. Uh, financially it's crazy yeah it's fucking think about insane it. yeah maybe th that's what you meant by that's times what, have changed okay yeah yeah okay yeah. Like, okay, okay, okay. Re regardless majority. though regardless yeah. though yeah money is different now which mm -hmm. sucks right yeah. but you still have to like you have to at some point you got to pick a path and yeah. your path has to be like this is what i'm going to go towards or that's what i'm going to go towards and i think people spend a lot of time in life being like, well, I really want that. So I do a little bit of that, but like, I got to keep doing this. So they, they never give it enough time to like, for this thing that they really want to do, they don't give it enough time for it to fully develop because they don't give enough energy to it. Mm -hmm. So it's about finding that energy balance of, okay, like I need to make money. I need to make a living. But at the same time, like I, if I don't give enough energy towards this other passion of mine, then it's never going to grow. Yeah. So what you did, I did the same thing. I was like, fuck it. This is the only thing that matters. Nothing else matters. I ruined a bunch of relationships, friendships, but I got to the point where I wanted. And then I was like, okay, now I have to fix this other shit in my life that I wasn't focused on. Uh, and I'm not even talking financially, just, it just personally, but it is really important to make that decision at some point. You have to, if you want it to be your full-time thing, like you have to be able to get over the edge. So I guess I would recommend is yeah. try and find a balance where you can pay like the most, the most, uh, you know, the most bare minimum of stuff. And then the rest of your time needs to be towards the thing that you really care about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you both took a leap. I mean, yeah. yeah. I said, fuck. So what? What is he doing? Right? What is he doing again? Sorry. He uh, works for a company. He's not like 50 Happy, hours. Yeah. He's not passionate about. And then he's in college. He started a podcast. He runs a small side business. It sounds like he's doing a lot of shit. It's yeah. like he's doing good. You just got to keep going. You got to. It sounds like you got to maybe maybe focus on what you want to yeah, flourish. Yeah. Well, depends on. what's the side business and yeah. Yeah. Obviously, the side business. I would honestly, I would just drop out of college. <laughs> Yeah, so, call, like take yeah. A leap. especially especially yeah. if you're watching this, whoever wrote this, honestly, drop out of college. You're going to go to college. You're going to graduate. And the most you're going to make is 200 K a year. If you get that fucking if you get that job from the degree you're studying, I'm sorry. Well, no, it's also true. Like uh, what you're saying. I mean, the fact that he has a small side business and he started a podcast. So he seems he like a hustler. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, why waste your effort and time and energy and money in college, in college when you're just going to have debt? Yeah, sounds like he's on the right, and they end yeah, up. Sounds yeah, sounds like he's on the right path. Control. I think he needs to cut out college to have more time. That's why he has depression, probably of college. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You know, it's, it means doctor, call shit, me Doctor yeah. Vitali. There we go. <laughs> in here, answer, answer, and come with the good <laughs> shit. Okay, so next question, we go. Excuse me. Hey, Brad and guess my little cousin is 15 years old, and his trajectory in life is going downhill. Well, he's 15. Now, hold on a sec. <laughs> I'll, I'll read the rest of this. His father took his life when he was six. Wow, I relate to that. It's the same age as mine. Um, and his mother is deep in drugs. Oh, wow. Tough. I'm doing my best to take care of him in all ways, showing him the ways of fitness and healthy lifestyle living. I plan to tell him about your story one day so he can grow and relate with someone of majority of major success from it. What would some words of guidance and wisdom to help him get going in the right direction again? Thank you brad and the team for the great content oh man this is a tough one yeah. um wow so <clears throat> it's it's tough because if we're talking about a 15 year old here it's hard i would say to give um younger people like real uh not not hard to give but i think it's hard for younger like specifically like in that age range 10 15 i mean shit, even some 20 year olds to give them advice that maybe they take genuinely to heart but I think the best thing you could do um, is not so much give someone like of that age or just anyone in general like advice and say, oh, if you do this, you'll be good. Um, I think it's more important for for you if you're if you're realizing this kid's situation with his father's gone, his mom is dealing, is just be there for that person. I think um, a lot of the stuff in life you you can't just you can never tell someone who's gone through something or is dealing with something crazy, be like, oh, it's gonna be okay, just trust me, you're good. Cause like they're living in that, they're living in that moment. And I think it's more important just to be there for that person, to talk to that person and just show like, be like a, a beacon of light and a beacon of hope that like things will get better and things can get better by just listening to them, hearing their thoughts, hearing where they're at in life, hearing what they're thinking about. 
And that's going to help that person be able to grow into the person that like, you know, you, you know, or you want them to be able to grow into. Cause I could look back in my life and realize, you know, it, it never mattered when I was, I remember, fuck, I was fucking cry. Jesus. Mm. When I was young. Oh shit. <clears throat> And uh, people would talk to me about, oh, you know, it's okay. Like your, your dad was a great person and, you'll, you know, you'll be fine. And it never mattered. Like, uh, fuck. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, it, uh, fuck. I got it. Uh, it, it, uh, it never, it never like, it would, it would, it, it would never hit. It would just. I would hear it and be like, okay, that person, they're just saying this because they want me to feel better mm. versus someone just being like, hey, how are you feeling? You know, um, I, I think uh, there's just, fuck, it's so difficult. I think there's so much more power in just listening and being there for someone and, and, and not trying to say, hey, you should think this or you should feel this or it's going to be better. Just ask them, like, what's going on? What are you thinking? Like, you know, are you okay? Like, yeah. if you need me, I'm here. And just being there for someone is, is so much more powerful and valuable than, like, trying to give someone advice. So I think that's the key, and I think that's what you should focus on. But, yeah. go. I don't know if you have anything to yeah, add there. Yeah. yeah. You no, probably got... No, you're, you are completely right. Yeah, I'm it's, sorry. It's like people, say, people saying to you, like, it will get better, it will get better. Like, this is how I dealt with it. But you're dealing with your own stuff, right? Yes. So you're hurting, and it's better for someone to actually just ask you like what's going on like how are you what are you and thinking like, well, yeah, yeah what are you thinking like met you want to talk about it you want to shout you know yeah. i used to talk to random people all the time you know this you know i used to always message anyone want to talk you know who's suicidal or anything like this and i would get this quite a lot and it's hard to not give advice if you've been through the same thing yeah but that is the perfect advice you could give is just to be like you want to talk you want to call up cry or shout down the phone you know yeah there's anything you want to get out because everyone puts so much pressure on it. Yeah. You just want to feel like someone's there. I know that's yeah. how I felt. I just wanted to feel like people were there and someone was there for me and that I had like, like I said, some sort of like, almost like, I uh, felt like a lifeline out of like the darkness that I felt in my life. Mm -hmm. So. The beacon me, of light thing, that's definitely a thing. Like it's all energy. You want to be around that good energy. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I think it's in, fuck yeah. I, I mean, to this kid, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, if he watches this, like I made it, yeah. you know, so, um, mm. yeah, fuck. I think we need one. Okay. We got one more here. Okay. So the last question is if you could be successful without social media being and being in the people's eye, would you, or do you truly love everyone coming up to you and knowing who you are? PS love the podcast listening from Bakersfield, California. Wait, um, what's, that didn't make any, yeah, it said, make any sense. Yeah, it said, if you could be successful without social media, so I guess he was saying, like, if you could be successful without social media, would you rather have that? Um, or do you truly love everyone coming up to you and knowing? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I, it I, depends where and where, when and where, right? I would say. Yeah. I mean, for me, I'm just, I'm at a point in my life, I think, where the kind of content that I've done and like this kind of stuff is so much, is so much like, it's cathartic to me. Like even just to sit here and talk about this stuff and you know, I get choked up and I feel like, fuck, I can't say shit. I can't, I can't like just let it out. Yeah. A part of it is, is healing to me. So I would say that, I mean, the position that I'm in, I, I wouldn't change it for anything. And, and yeah, there are certain circumstances like normally when I'm in the gym, someone wants to come up and I'm like mid set, they want to talk. Maybe that's a little bit like, you know, I want to finish my set, but ultimately like, I wouldn't have all the great things in my life if, if I didn't go through all the shit and, and if I wasn't in this position, it's like, it just wouldn't mean shit. So I'm grateful for it and I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, there's just like, it's not even a question in my mind at this point that like the success that I've garnered and, and the way that I've gotten it and the way people have like related and they want to ask stuff like this and you know, about the kid even, um, th th there's no other point in, in life than, like I said, like to you guys earlier is love, trying to feel it, trying to give it, trying to share it and trying to understand like what the fuck's going on in this world. And I think that's all the shit's about. So if I'm in a position where people come and ask me stuff like that, then like I would never change that mm -hmm. because I, 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 that means I'm at a point that I'm able to genuinely help people. Yeah. So, and cause I've knew, I knew what it felt like to want help from people. So I would never, ever change that, man. But never. what about people coming up to you and trying to sell you their app? <laughs> yo, yo, dog. You know how many times, bro, over the years, like, dude. Or especially like back in the day when I used to be in the club, loud music. He's talking business. I'm like, what are you doing? Let's speak yeah. tomorrow. Well, and then that's he's trying, different. 
what? That's so different. Yeah, yeah. No. But I, I hear pictures. what you're saying. I totally hear what yeah, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, I take pictures with everybody. I don't think I ever yeah. said no to a picture. Yeah, but Unless, I for sure get the app yeah. thing. And then when the NFT shit started popping, they're like, oh, you want to make an oh, NFT? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, mm. yeah. Fuck. Cringy, man. <laughs> yeah, so I get what you're saying. But have you ever had a hard time with uh, popularity? Like the photo thing or? No, I, I always wanted to be famous since I was a kid. So I kind of loved it, but you know, always comes with a price with that. Of course, there's some days where she even says like, are you paranoid walking in public? And I'm like, no, but in deep inside, I'm like not paranoid, it's just like, sometimes I want to, most of the time or always spend time. It's just weird, man. When it's in the middle of doing something, you know, and people want to come up to you and take a picture, that's fine. But when they try and mostly it's for me, it's like people trying to sell themselves or work together. And it's yeah. Like, and I don't, and I don't never, I cannot be a dick to that person and say, I'm not interested. So I kind of have to hear him out. But once you hear him out, it's like 20 minutes. He comes gone back by. with yeah. so many cards. Like he literally, you know what I've learned to do? <laughs> so yeah. Many cards. He's like, <laughs> I would just be like, yo, um, just the easiest way to figure this out is like, send me an email. Yeah. Cause like, honestly, that's the only really way to do it. Like I can't, I can't take a whole business meeting. Like just like you said, in 20 minutes. Um, and like, I feel like you can't get enough information when someone just comes up and like, Hey, let me pitch this to you. No, but quick. I respect the, uh, the yeah, there is some, I totally cre respect there is some create creative, like people, if they do want to do that, just my word of advice, you need to come, come creatively. Yeah. Like blow your mind, like be, yeah. Because you know? a lot of people will be like, they, I don't know, they come, they come with the like. I know you probably heard this a thousand times, but I promise you, man, I'm the best. I can do this. Yeah. yeah. And it's like you got to come with something a little bit more substantial, I think. If I'm gonna get on the spot business meeting, yeah. Right. Use Whoa. this advice. You come up to your favorite influencer. You can say, let's play, let's play rock paper scissors, <laughs> one out of one. And if they go, yeah, be like, if I win, as you, we're doing business together. If you lose. If you lose, yeah, whatever. So hopefully you win, and then that person. So has rock paper scissors is the move. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. T I can't turn down rock paper scissors to be honest. In mm -hmm. no circumstances, I love playing that game. Let's play right now. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'll win. beat you. Right one now. out of one. One out of one. So how do you do rock paper scissors shoot? Uh, so yeah, like one, rock. two, three, boom. Okay. So a uh, boom, we go. Rock yeah. paper scissors shoot. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ready? Fine. fine. What what's on the line? No. Oh shit! There's a bet. Oh, I, I love oh, I love betting, dog. <laughs> I love betting. Uh, whoever loses gets punched in the face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. shit. I know. I'm kidding. I don't want to get punched in the face, but you with, uh, uh, with hands behind my back. That would hurt. That would probably yeah, be knocked out. Yeah, I'll be knocked out. That's tough. Okay. No, is, there, is there a real wager? Can, we, can you think of a real wager? Like a real forfeit? Oh, oh man. Fuck. Okay, fuck it. Let's just do it then. No, you're I, 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 you I, I love a wager. I love a, yeah, I love wager. Actually, no. Actually, I have an, a business opportunity that I want to present. Oh, you. is it a fucking app? No. Oh, man. Uh, Jesus. Get me hooked up with steak if I win. Oh, that's every, hard, especially oh. right now. That's hard. Why? Because it's circumstances. Every, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. The, the crypto nice. space is tough. Yeah. Mm. Shout out steak, by the way. So, so I fucking love them. <laughs> yeah. Let's just do it anyways. Let's Come do on. It. All right. Yeah, yeah. You ready? One mm -hmm. out of rock paper scissors shoot. Ready? Yep. Go. You're gonna go with hand? Yeah. yeah okay. Sure. Yeah. Rock paper scissors shoot. <laughs> and you know why I want? You know why I want? You know why I want? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not calling you that, but girls always put scissors first. Really? So, yeah. So do they really? All the time, because you go on. You, back in the day, I would just be like the best. I'm scared to talk to girls. Like I'm sorry. Like I know. I'm oh, so you've done this before? I did a video. Got 15 million. Yeah, but views. you. <laughs> but you ask a girl, hey, uh, you, hey, um, let's play rock paper scissors. I'm just actually gonna inspire some people to talk to you favorite girls in college or whatever yeah, okay. rock, if you're scared talk to a girl like hey excuse me i want to play rock paper scissors one out of one if you if you win to a girl you slap me as hard like your boyfriend cheated on you for years and you just find out but if slap i win me. i get your phone number but i usually the phone number is safe there's a little kiss and they go okay okay yeah so you, you just break thought, the ice you, so you saying i'm a bitch because i did the scissors <laughs> what the fuck dude no bro i just no but i did say that to make a joke out of it but no, you're not a bitch. Chill out. <laughs> <You're just kidding. laughs> no, but <laughs> but that's funny. No, but I did. I had to be the Vitali. Yeah, but yeah. That's fine. No, but uh, that's so funny. Put. I thought you were gonna put a paper. Yeah. Why you keep saying "Oh God" while I'm trying to explain the story? Learn to see you getting punched any second now. <laughs> no, I'm not. I no, I was talking to the people that are watching. It's the best way to break the ice with the girl. It's yeah. honestly really yeah, clever. But if a guy came up to me and did that, I'd be like. Really? I don't know. It's so I, unique. Uh, I think you would. She's a liar. Yeah, I think you'd be like. You don't lie, but right now, yeah. I think you would be not into it, but like, I think you would. You do would throw in your. Obviously, yeah. Obviously, I'd wow, be mad, you like when people. I wouldn't be into it. Like, it wouldn't be. People would be come up to you and be like, "Oh, you're beautiful." How many times a day you hear it, bro? Yeah, but that she makes can't a walk woman's anywhere. Day. That makes a woman's. Yeah. No, it's the shopping. It's the shopping. Guys like when you carry your own shopping, like. 
It's like a warrior. She, dude, she goes to Wait, the gym in the building. What? <laughs> what did you just say about <laughs> guys? Like, when, Wait. You, when I go get our food, when I go get our food, and you I come carry back that the shit? shopping, I tell you, I walk there. You know, people say a few things. They're like, but when wow. I'm carrying those shopping bags, I'm like a warrior. I got, I got women beeping horns, like, like saying, "Damn, look at that!" Fire. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, Urgh, I got this. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right, well, well, that's it. Uh, well, thanks for I having would, me, bro. Yeah, bro. It was a pleasure. It was. It was. And I'm Thank glad you, we got to finally reconnect. Yep. And I'm happy that you're, you're fucking, you're saying you're just going hard, you're doing it. And I, I look forward to seeing what you're able to do for Thank sure. Thank you. And like I said, I'm in Miami. Hit me up to lift and shit. Let's go. We're homies. I appreciate yep. you, man. And yeah. uh, since I, you know, came in your podcast, <sighs> Vitalia X Delia. <laughs> yeah, run that up. Vitalia X Delia, OnlyFans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some some fucking wild. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, all right, we're out. You fucking almost thrown in the fucking mic. All right, we're out of here. I love you guys. Right, Subscribe thank you guys to the so pod. Much for watching. Uh, that was dope. That was a great outro. Sick. There we go. They, people wanted this one. Straight up. Yeah. Have people actually asked about me? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, you know, what are you gonna title it? I you already have the title. You don't, I be original. Don't do the downfall of Italian. This is the first time. I mean, it's literally the first time we. Actually, talk. It's so in funny how took people took. No, I saw you at full send party, bro, on the balcony. I was, I was still, I was fucked up. I was talking to you. We had a moment on the balcony. In Studio at, City, at full send's house. That red, old, beat up mansion. Like it was old style. It's still a mansion, but you know what I mean. In Studio City, right? I love you guys. Subscribe to the pod. We're out of here. Uh, turn the fucking <laughs> notifications, all that good stuff. Every Tuesday, at 11 a.m. If you're not, it's on iTunes. It's on Spotify. We're everywhere. I love you guys.